Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how can you set up a subscription into your bubble app using a Stripe payment gateway. So let's start. So in the previous video we have learned how can you set up a one-time payment, how can you set up a product and other things. I would suggest you to go to that tutorial, check it out there. So start to this video. So to start, I have already set up a one Stripe subscription product that have a billing of 170 INR per month. So into the Stripe, you can set up a like a per month billing, per quarterly billing, per yearly billing, half yearly billing, depend upon your use case. So I have set up this monthly billing. So this is a product that we are going to check it out. So how we will do it. So we will go to our like a bubble app and into that API connector and we can set up this API. So this is the same API that you have used into that while checking out the one time product. And same we are using for the subscription check it out. So this is how this is a post call and this is a URL. So this is the body. You can just copy paste it. And this is the price ID that you need to pass on the product that you want to check it out. So in our case, this is the product price ID that you can copy here. This is the quantity. Usually in the subscription product, there is a fixed quantity. But in your case, if there is a like multiple quantity, you can ask for the user. And the important thing is mode. So the mode will be subscription. That's a static value for checking out the subscription based product. Product. So that's it. So we will move to our one of the page. So we already made a one subscription page. Now we will create a just one single product. Just name it as like check it out. Then we will use the API that we have already initialized. So this is a success URL. We can pass anything that you want your user to redirect when payment is done. And same there is a like a cancel URL also there. So when if there is any error occur while doing a payment or something like that, or user press a back button. So Stripe will redirect it to this page. So I'm just keeping it that simple success.com and I'm using a payment ID of this one. I just copy it here and that's it. Paste it here, remove it, paste it here. Go to here and URL. So you have to use an event open in URL. So this step one will output you a different, different element. So we will need to use that body URL. That's it. And refresh that page. So when you click on checkout subscription, it will automatically give you a new page and where your payment gateways appear. So here you can just pass that. For example, I'm just passing test seven is equal to gmail.com. My test credit card user will be F7 and that's it. When I click subscribe, so that payment is done. So if you go into your payment, now test 7 will appear. So this is the test 7 application. So what is done now? So your user is subscribed to this product and automatically each month 170 rupees will deducted from their bank account or like credit card, whatever they use it. But the problem is you don't know if this payment is done or not, or you are facing an issue or something like that. So how you will got to know? So you got to know by the web hooks. So web hooks are basically like a sort of like you can say callbacks that you got to know, okay, some any payment is made, any renewables is made or anything on the subscribe. So now we will move to the how you can leverage the web hooks to identify whether the payment is done or not. Your renewals is done or not. How you identify it. Because on the web hooks, you get a lot of to whom you subscribe. So when you initialize a web hook here, for example, this is the web hook I already have uh, done it. So when you do it, update details. So this is the event to send. I have selected all, but you don't need to do it. So you have to do a like very little one. For the subscription thing, there is a limited. Let me just show you which one is for the subscription. So if you go into that event, the first is payment is equal to success, payment underscore succeed. So that will tell you when any payment made. So be it a first payment or like renewals. So that is the one. Second is invoice dot upcoming. In case if you want, just want to send a reminder to a user, like three days are pending for your renew, please verify your payment and everything. So this is the two event that you need to trigger for the subscription. And also the payment fail. So you also want to know like, if any payment is failed, you can email them, okay, if this payment is failed and all. So when you've done that and set up your web hooks, so you will receive something like this sort of a response. This sort of a response when your successful uh, web hook is triggered. So how can you identify, is it renewable or like what exactly? You have to identify three to four. I just copied that data to here to like beautifully more identify. So the first one is look for invoice dot payment succeed. So this will tell you the payment is made. Till now you don't know what exactly the payment is. It's a patient payment. Second is billing reason. So this is the billing reason. So when the first type payment is made, that is the billing reason is subscription underscore create. But when the renewals happen, 
इट इज सब्यूशन अंडर स्कोर साइकिल तो दिस इज द टैक्स डेट यू नीड टू चेक थर्ड वन इज आई तो इफ यू गो इफ यू लुक फॉर दी टाइप ऑफ दिस सो दिस विल कम्स अंडर दैट डेट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इट विल से टेल यू सब्यूशन सो थ्री थिंग्स यू हैव टू लुक वन इज टाइप ऑफ डेवो सेकेंड इज बिलिंग रीजन थर्ड इज टाइप ऑफ दैट डेटा ओके दिस इज द सर्क्यूशन दैट इज रिन्यूड नाउ यू हैव टू स्टोर दैट चार्ज आई डी सो दैट यू कैन लुक फॉर दिस इज द चार्ज आई डी यू शुड स्टोर इन टू योर डीबी सो दैट यू कैन यूज आस फॉर द रिफंड और एनी प्रॉब्लम है यू कैन डायरेक्ट आइडेंटिफाई ओके दिस इज द वैल्यू एंड यू कैन इवन आइडेंटिफाई विच यूजर इज यूजिंग देर अकाउंट नेम एंड प्लस ई मेल आई डी दैट यू विल गेट इन टू दैट सो दिस इज अ कस्टमर ई मेल दैट यू विल सो यू आइडेंटिफाई ओके दिस यूजर इज है एंड दैट सॉट ऑफ पेमेंट इज दैट सॉ यू आइडेंटिफाई ओके दिस इज रिन्यूएल हैपन और लाइक पेमेंट फेल्ड हैपन सो दैट यू कैन इवन ट्रिगर लाइक अ मेल टू द यूजर सो दैट्स हाउ I hope that is cleared out. If you have any question, any queries, you can comment it out into the below section, or uh, you can mail me at ankur at the date no code talks dot. Thank you very much.